This could be like a sick introductory shot. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Hamilton. I'm the chef at La Carnita Restaurant. We're a Mexican taqueria on College Street doing our take on Mexican street food. The atmosphere at La Carnita is really chilled, really laid back. We play the music loud, we have a good time, it's a fun place. It's not a pretentious feeling to it. It's really accessible to everybody. We don't just do the traditional food that you would find on the streets of Mexico. We always take it a little further and do something fun, some sort of really special sauce. We've got our house-made vulture sauce, which is like a crazy spicy sauce. And we always add like different components to the tacos to make them sort of unique and special. I'm Dyson Forbes. I work with Forbes Wild Foods. We're Canada's largest purveyor of uh, Canadian wild foods. We supply uh, over 100 different products to restaurants and farmers markets and retail stores across Toronto and, and all across Canada. I'm really excited today to be uh, meeting the chefs from La Carnita and seeing what they can do with some of these northern flavors in their uh, Mexican recipes. I got my uh, sous chef Nate with me, aka Tasty Nate, bar manager Aldo. We're going to be doing some foraging for pheasant back mushrooms. The bugs were uh, pretty brutal. It's probably the worst bug experience I ever had. I took an entire bottle of bug spray and sprayed myself, and then after that, I was fine. Someone do my back. Turn your I met Dyson from uh, Forbes Wild Foods. He was our forager for the day and he uh, helped me learn a little bit more about the pheasant back mushrooms. Pheasant back mushrooms are a early spring mushroom that grows on elm trees around fields and, and inside forests all across Ontario. And it's a white flesh bodied mushroom that has a very uh, distinctive watermelon like smell and a nice nutty flavor to it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got a frog? <laughs> Nice one, John. Dyson took us uh, around his farm, down sort of like a field and into kind of like a little bit of a valley where there was a stream and the pheasant back mushrooms were growing off of the trees. Pheasant back mushrooms are really easy to identify because they have a, a top that's very unique that looks a little bit like a pheasant's back end and it can be a lot of fun to pick. So we got some pheasant back mushrooms that we found out here. We have some wild garlic, some wild leek. We're gonna make a corn salsa, get it all together and put it on a tostada. First up, I'm gonna get this corn on the grill. Red chilies, it's gonna cut off the tops and seed them. A tostada is like a uh, Mexican version of a crispy tortilla. So think kind of like your Americanized taco with a crispy shell. Tostada is just a big round one that's fried. Everything goes on. How come you never do it this good at the restaurant? You don't pay me. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this also, we're gonna add in uh, some black pepper, ground coriander, some of our house habanero hot sauce, fresh chopped cilantro, and we're gonna season it uh, with kosher salt, and, and uh, yeah, that's it. Boom, corn salsa. All right, salsa. corn salsa component complete. All right, right now I'm gonna cook off these uh, pheasant back mushrooms that we got together. Let's get them into little bite-sized pieces. All right, so we got an, a rustic diced up pheasant back mushrooms. Oop. <laughs> that one's pretty hot butter. Yeah, I burned the butter. Basically, I set the cast of foam on. The sunlight was coming down. I just didn't realize at all how hot that had got. Put the butter in, fucked it. So I just threw it in the bushes. <laughs> it's essentially started over. Shit happens. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta, you know, you just gotta start from scratch again and do it. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna get these leeks. There's a little bit of these ends of the wild leeks in there. Just gonna toss it around. And in, in's gonna go the uh, pheasant back mushrooms. Oh wow, they got a really nice aroma to them. Just a little bit of crema. Goes on the base. Kind of like a cross between creme fraiche and, and sour cream. All right, we got a little bit of chipotle uh, hot sauce. Gonna add on a little spoonful of pheasant back mushrooms. And just a little bit of the corn salsa, that fresh salsa that we made. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of the 
uh, chopped up green onions. Uh, we're gonna shave on some um, uh, queso cotilla cheese. If you can't find cotilla, sometimes it's a little bit harder to find. You can substitute feta in there. While they were looking for mushrooms, I was picking some mint. Found some good mint by Brook. It's really actually quite nice. It smells really fresh. And we found some ginger as well that I've uh, chopped finely. And I'm gonna make a little ginger simple syrup because I'm gonna be making a tequila based cocktail with the tromba tequila here. A little bit of lemon juice, soda, and muddled mint. All right, so basically I just added the sugar to the boiling water. I'm just gonna add the ginger and then let this guy simmer. Okay, so now that we've got the ginger syrup boiling, uh, what I'm gonna do is make the cocktail. Pick some mint and muddle the mint. You don't have to like use all your brute force strength. You'll get the flavor without making it too bitter by just lightly uh, muddling. Time for the tequila. We'll just do one ounce for now and if we really wanna get wasted, we'll do two later. Now I'm gonna grab some of the syrup, the hot, hot syrup. Actually got a pretty good aroma, even though there's not a whole lot of ginger. So I'm just gonna cut a little lemon in half. I think lemon in this case, because we're using ginger, will pair pretty nicely. All right. Since we use a couple components, I'm gonna double strain it just so we don't get any uh, unwanted things in our drinks. Do maybe a little splash of soda. And I'll garnish with a couple nice little mint sprig. And there we go. Pretty simple. Okay, now that the drinks are done, let's go see what the boys did with those pheasant backs. Ready to go with the tostadas? Good, man. Yeah? How are the drinks? The drink's pretty good. Mint's really good. Ginger's, ginger's super bitter, and I bet you guys are probably need of one of these. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Absolutely. That was a long day, and right when I, had the, when I got that cocktail, it was amazing. All right, so here's the drink with the tequila, the fresh ginger, and the mint that we forged. And I think John's got your toast out of there. Yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Forbes Wild Food. Tasty meat, La Carnita. Johnny. I really liked it. We were like out in the country, like way out in the woods. We had like a little wobbly table to cook on. What could be better than getting out of the city for the day, learning about pheasant back mushrooms, and cooking in the wilderness? One thing with foraging, you gotta bring bug spray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the key to foraging. You're gonna have a good sleep tonight. That's for sure.